Hey there, I'm back again. While I am waiting for the stand for the cyclone to dry, I thought I might show you what I'm doing. Um, I told you I'm doing sh some shop improvements, uh, like a lot of them. <clears throat> um, well, one of them was a French cleat, um, which I love. They're awesome for storing things, and I plan on actually putting some up here along the front of my tool, or my bench, um, until the day when I actually tear this bench down and uh, build maybe two, two... Uh, assembly benches that can uh, like kind of slide and attach together or one can stay stationary um, and move the other one out where I need it but for now the table saw being on casters it gives me a pretty good um, a pretty good assembly bench for now um, I just got so much to do but uh, anyways back to the French cleat uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it before but there's plenty of videos out there like I mentioned um, which I'll go more detail when I do my inspirational video, but, uh, the Wood Whisperer, um, what's his name, uh, Mark, uh, Spagnato, Spagnato, Spag sorry, Mark, he's probably never going to watch this anyways, uh, Mark Spagnato, uh, does a little French cleat system when he was moving to a new shop, um, I think Steve Ramsey does one too when he does that big tool hutch. Um, and then there's a lot of them out there. If you just type in French cleat, uh, there should be some come up. But basically, you have a uh, board at a 45 degree angle, and then you have a separate one that's already that you'll mount on the wall. Um, and basically, the two just kind of kind of lock together. This one that's up on the wall here is exactly the same as this, but it is mounted um, this way with the tip out away from the wall. That's important you get them right the way you mount them because what it's going to enable it to do is the one that's sitting like this which is that one up there right here now I take this one and put the tip at the wall pointing down and it be creates a locking system that you can hang stuff off of. Um, uh, this thing I, I kind of started a while ago and never got back to it. I've got a few minutes while I'm waiting for this, so I forget I might as well do it. So what I'm going to do right now is glue these together, uh, which give it a little bit of a back panel, and then uh, that will become a hanger. So remember, we want this to go into the wall, which means it has to go away from our backing board. And I just put this here because it gives you a little more area to put your dowels or hooks or whatever you're going to use to actually hang the tools or whatever on. So what I'll do is glue this. Uh, we want it this way. <laughs> I'm getting all backwards. So we will, that's going to be the back of the wall. So we want to glue this side. And I'll apply a good amount of glue. Put that on. And I don't have a spreader here. A scrap of wood does good. Just kind of spread it along so that you get good coverage. You always want to try to spread it along and get as much coverage as you can. Now, I've got marks on here already to center it where I want it. And we'll just put it on that. Give it a little press. I like to, when I apply it, when I apply the glue, before I clamp it, I like to give it a couple minutes. Uh, let the glue set up a bit. Gives you a much better grab. And then uh, you don't get this this sliding action from it being uh, so well wet. So now that's glued down. <sighs> I'm not even going to, well, throw a couple clamps on just so we can drill a couple holes for extra support. Glue and screw is a very good model. Alright, got my, and this is a pain being so tall, I gotta duck down. Um, my wife said she was going to record these for me, but she actually had to go to work. So, we have a babysitter upstairs for the kids, and to see how, it, I don't know if you can see that it was completely square with the side here and just the clamping pressure happened to uh, happened to make it slide down a bit because the glue is not quite tacky yet but that's okay we'll just hold it in place now I've got my countersink bit with a 
what was it? 964 strip, I think. Just over an eighth of an inch. So we're just going to drill a hole here. And then it puts, oh. Oops. There, there's one. Now, I could have marked it where these go, but it really doesn't make any difference. Just as long as you get it near the center of the board where you're not going to happen to, you know, put pressure on to split the board out or something. And we'll put a third one just for good luck. Alright, and Steve Ramsey, if you're watching, impact drivers! Well, I hope I don't open myself up to a bunch of comments like you got. I shouldn't have done that. Just gonna grab some screws here. I think these these are inch inch and a quarter screws, I believe. Just gold construction screws. Now I like I like the gold construction screws and the cabinet screws. We won't uh, go into that. Maybe we'll do a screw you video, you know, or screws somewhere down the line. But uh, for now, this is done. Now I can go uh, decide what I want to hang on this, and I'll drill some dowel holes and put the glue the dowels in, and then all I have to do is just hang it on the wall. And the best thing about the French cleat system is you can hang it, you, it's not permanent, you can move it around where you want as long as you have the opposing 45 degree um, angle on the wall already. So I can go from left to right, rearrange tools, you can use it to hang your tools. Um, you use it for just about anything, it's a great system. And actually on this... Uh, drill charging station, which by the way, again, came from, sorry about my fingers, came from YouTube. Um, this is actually a design from, oh, sorry, um, from, oh, Jay Bates Custom Creations, Jay Bates' channel, uh, he, I watched him build this on a YouTube channel, I said, I need one of those, and I like the way, it, um, he designed his, so, Jay, thanks for that. And I got my power bar mounted on the side. And it, it works great. I'm actually thinking about building another one of these, but not for drills, but just for an extra shelf system and put the two side by side. Uh, so that works great. So now we'll just take this over here quick and hang it up on the wall. So now it's hanging up there and it's not coming down. Now once I get some dowels or something up there, I can hang whatever I want on it. I got one right here. I only have one installed right now. It's right here holding my homemade straight edge. So, and my broom. So, if you can see that, 